What is going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at how to make these table of content pages that are super simple, super clean, and seem to be super trendy right now. So let's get started. Okay, so we just have a quick creation of a spread, eight and a half by 11, both sides. What we're gonna do is go into layers, uh, sorry, above layers into pages. And if your workspace doesn't look like this, you can go up top to the right and then change it to essential classics. That's usually how I like to do these things. Uh, but we're gonna go into our master pages or now called parent pages. Uh, click, double click right into these. And we kind of want a watermark or something on the top that tells us what it is. So I'm gonna go over to the type tool and we're just gonna make a quick type. If this is a portfolio, you can type that. For now, we're gonna do magazine and then make sure that this is in your future favorite font. I'm gonna do Futura for this one. Uh, and then go ahead and copy it on the other side. Make sure that uh, people who know the, who this is by, uh, I'm gonna put our channel name. And then make sure that this one is maybe a little bit lighter than the actual title of what it is. Uh, we're also gonna add a page number on the bottom. So again, go into the type tool. I'm gonna drag a type uh, box here. Go into, I believe is type insert special character, marker, and then current page number. That, that's gonna give us the current page number. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this, this is middle justified. And in order to make sure that this is in the middle of the page, we're gonna select this, go up top to where the align tools are. And here where it says align to, usually it's on selection. We wanna change it to the entire page and just make sure that it is center aligned. After we've done that, we can go ahead and select everything on this page and copy it onto the next page because we kind of want it on both pages. Great, that's our parent page done. We're gonna go back to our page. So now you can see that everything that we just put is on these pages. We can't modify them because they are on the parents page, which is great. We're gonna start by making a guide. So we're gonna go ahead and create guides. And what we're gonna do is, let's do five different rows and four different columns. And this will give us the creative freedom to kind of play around with whatever elements. It'll just give us more flexibility. Go ahead and hit OK. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and align the four anchor images that we want or however many that you need uh, for your table of contents. For example, here, if I want four anchor images here and I have four different sections in my book, I'm gonna have one title image or one captivating image for each one of these sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag pictures in that I have already downloaded. Uh, go ahead and fit that with that command, Control Shift Alt C, uh, and just drag in the content or the images that you think should go here. Now make sure you select these frames first before you actually put them in, otherwise it will not come into the frame itself. And let me put one more. Great, so now I have my four anchor images here. Um, usually over here, I like to put a content, uh, but here let's do the page number first, just so we know where everything is going. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a nice big text box, and we're gonna put the page number here. So. Here, I like to have this a little bit bigger. Let's move it all the way to 72. Make sure we're using the same font. Um, let's use a Demi for Futura. And for these pictures, we want them to be center justified. So make sure we have that checked on. Great. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and make the subheading. And here we're gonna make this smaller, a lot smaller, maybe something like an 18. Um, and if this section is dedicated to portraits, you can do portraits. There we go. And that looks pretty good. And if you wanna give a little bit of a short description, again, I'm gonna drag another box and I'm just gonna fill it with placeholder text for now. Again, make sure this is the right text, right? We want this to be a little bit lighter, so maybe it's a Futura uh, book. Now you can see that's already shaping out to be pretty good. Uh, we want to also make sure that this is center justified like that to be consistent with whatever is going on up top. And we can kind of just go ahead and use alt and copy these over so that we don't have to format it every single time. And obviously feel free to you know change whatever number is on here according to your page number. 
uh, and your and your section, right? Maybe this is something like um, graphics, and then this is architecture, uh, and this could be something like theater, right? Um, and then yeah, obviously fill it with with captions that you think would fit there. Great, this page is looking pretty good already. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And we're just gonna put content up here. Uh, now you're gonna see the text box a little bit too small, so I'm gonna drag that out, out even more. Uh, and I'm just gonna left justify that. So now you can see that this is a great page on the right already. Um, we're gonna do the page on the left. Now I like to keep the page on the left a little bit clean because you want everything you want the eyes of your viewers to basically go on the page on the right. So a, a little trick I like to use to first emphasize what's going on, on the right is to just put a little arrow, uh, nothing big, nothing major. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and right justify that. So that's pointing to what we want the viewers to see. Now on the left page, I usually like to, if it is a portfolio or something like that, I like to create a little bit of a about me section. So here let's put in about me uh, and go ahead and left justify that. And on the bottom, we're gonna drag this text box, fill it on the bottom and whatever you like to put in the about me, go ahead and put it right here. Uh, again, left justify to make it uniform with whatever is going on up top. Now this page is looking a little bit empty, so we're gonna anchor it with another image. Uh, perhaps this is an image that, you know, uh, basically tells people who you are, what your work is about, but this is going to go on the left side of the page because that's where uh, visual elements are kind of missing. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in a picture I've already selected. Oh, I don't have the frame selected. That's why it came in as a thumbnail there. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that image in by dragging and dropping, and again, just fitting it into the frame itself. But let's move on to the second one. All right, let's get started with the second one. Now, the second one is a lot more freeform. I've seen this a lot recently. Uh, it seems to be a popular design, and I'll show you everybody how to kind of do it step by step. Uh, so we're gonna start with making guides once more. So we're gonna create guides, but we're only gonna create three different columns this time. Uh, and make sure that the gutter is a little bit wider because uh, we want the spacing between these to be more prominent than what is going on for the first one. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and make our big text, which is our page number. Um, again, you can customize this to whatever you like. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little bit and just use the one we had before just to save on time. Uh, go ahead and drag that in, that already looks Pretty nice. So uh, again, making this fit kind of within our uh, margins that we created for it. Great, so that's already one of the sections that we have. Now, instead of doing this as a middle justified, I'm gonna show everyone how to do this uh, as a left justified. I just think it looks a little bit cleaner, uh, but go ahead and do that. It's going to be a left justified table of contents. Now, we want to basically copy this many different times depending on how many different sections you have. So, for example, this is my first one. Uh, if I want another one down here, I can do that. I can change the, the page number uh, and then this will be a whole new section. Now, the rule we want to follow here is that we don't want more than two of these in one of these columns. Okay, so remember that when we're doing it. It could be one, it could be two. We just don't want it to go too much so that the viewer has no idea what's going on and it looks a little bit too busy. I'm gonna go ahead and copy another one. Uh, now we're gonna make this a little bit random, so we're not going to call, uh, follow what is, whatever is going on up top. We're going to make this a little bit lower, so maybe this column only has one of these sections. Uh, and go ahead, we're gonna make this maybe uh, 17 or something like that. Uh, but what I see people like to do as well is they add images to some of these sections. So uh, that's pretty simple. We're gonna create a picture frame and all we're gonna do is add in the photos. So I'm just using the same photos as our first layout there. Make sure that you're fitting it into the frame. Uh, and again, we're gonna repeat this on the right. So uh, this can match over here. Just make sure that you know we're, we're basically putting it at the same spot. Some of these elements, you want them to match uh, in order to show some sort of order. 
others you want them to be a little bit random. Uh, just play around with the layout and then press W to preview it just to see how that looks. Now this looks okay, this looks pretty good. Uh, again, we're going to change that number there. Uh, maybe the text looks a little bit different. Uh, there's different paragraphs here or something like that. Uh, and then maybe one more down here, something like that. Now I'm going to choose to not make that one uniform with the 11 uh, and make this maybe like a 33 or sorry, 31 and just add maybe another image to end off the page here. So yes, you can see that usually the images do come after the, the text and that does fit better just because you want people to read uh, what's going on first uh, and have that image to show what is going on in the text. So that could be our first page. Uh, we can do the same thing on the second page. You can also create guides here just to make sure that things line up. So if, if I double click on that ruler on the left side here, it's going to create a, a tiny guide for me just so I can align whatever is going on here that I know that these two are perfectly aligned and I don't have to worry about it mismatching. We're finished with these two beautiful examples of table of contents. Let me know which one you like more. Let me know what you want to see next. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get to them. Uh, and if you like this video, learn anything, please don't hesitate to subscribe and like the video itself. It does help the channel a lot. But that's it from me for this time. And I'll see you guys in the next one.